Hello, so we are starting our first live video in our kind of home, school, home, bringing the farm to your home group that we have. So we're trying to bring you some videos and some education and some fun and some outdoor light relief to the situation that we are all in currently. So we're going to start off tonight with this a bit of a tester, really, because we're not, we're not celebrities here. Um, we're not used to being on videos and um, it's not something that we normally do. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of fun. We're going to try it out. We're going to answer your questions. So if you've got anything to say, please pop a little message on. I can't actually see if messages are available on this. Well, hopefully, if it gives you an option to type hello or anything, please type it. And um, we'll try and answer your questions. Um, like I said, we're a bit new to this ourselves. So we're just trying to bring something a bit exciting. We are joined by a few of our... Oh, it's a bit dark. A few of our friends. Hello. And um, we've got a few staff members. And Jude. And Jade. <laughs> and Jade. I think you are. I think Jade is a staff member. But um, she might as well just look. I can't even see. Hello. There we go. And you've got a little baby on the way, haven't you? So we've got a few of these guys in at the minute who are, we've got one over here who's in foal. Um, we've got this one over here who isn't. And then we've got over here, I'm gonna need some guys to join me to tell me who's had what. And um, we're gonna go around, have a chat to a few staff members who are here very late tonight, uh, again, um, because it really is round the clock. It is a round the clock job of keeping all these guys happy and healthy and keeping them fed um so anyone that's just joined us we are this is a bit of a tester video so please don't expect um a professional level of entertainment because you won't find it here um hopefully you can all hear me okay i doesn't seem to be any messaging that option to chat to us while we're doing this because i can't see it popping up on the screen which i know sometimes in these videos well i've seen you know i've seen other people do them so what we're going to do is just chat away have a chat to the staff and meet a few of these guys and um do you want to tell me first of all, morgan do you want to stand a little bit over here do you want to go inside so we're going to start with morgan say hello hello hi morgan so right who have we got over here do you want to come in as well yeah. so we've got star guest today of slightly famous Braden tmg hello. who's a bit of a local youtuber um, oh, do you want to shut the gate behind me? Nothing's going to escape, is it? Right, hello, Morgan. Hello, I'm Morgan. Um, can you please introduce me to who we have in this pen tonight and when certain little ones were born? Okay. I don't know when she was born. He, sorry. <laughs> number three. This okay. is Cody, the okay. Two born yesterday. Zach and Co and Mummy, is this Keely? Yeah, that's Keely. So Keely's yeah. pretty famous. She's one of our absolute favourite favourites. Yeah. And so what have we called these guys? Zach and Cody. Yeah, Zach and Cody. Is, isn't that a TV show? Yeah. Is that like an American? Is it just called yeah, Zach it's like and an American? They TV take over show. a hotel or something. Yeah, it's like a cruise ship or a hotel. Oh, okay, yeah. that sounds cool. So, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We've got our first message. Hi, Cat. She's watching from Essex. Oh, it does work. Can you all say hello to Cat? Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> And then, so I'm going to, should I get in here? Should I climb over or we're going to crash? Do you want me to right, hold it? I'm going to, yeah, if you hold it, because I'm a rather awake myself. We don't need me falling on things. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Hello to Essex. Um, the only way, obviously. So this is Keely. And do we know who's, which one is Zach and which one's Cody or do we not know? No. Okay, well, we'll just have a little guess. We're going to get I right in here. This is the moment I put my knee in some poop. But do you know what? That's all part of the fun. So let's say hello to these guys. So I you can see they're suckling well. Yeah. Uh, is this her, her second lot of lambs? Is it she had a lamb last? She's she's on her second lot, so she's yeah, she's it's used to it now. Lambing, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Look, we were right in there. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get them to me. And they also wipe their tail when they. Oh. Get, look at that. Saying I'm happy. Hi, five-year-old Sophie, watching from Bridgewater, and Mum Carly. And um, we can give a shout out to your whole school if you tell us. Well, well, where you did go to school. Um, so can you see? Sophie, are you watching? Look. That's, that's a smile just for Sophie, that is. Can you see that? Hello. Right, I'm going to get around the other side. And we've got another one. Hello, Keely. She's like, leave my children alone. And the little one here. Yes, I can see. I'm not here to hurt. Here we go. Here's another one down here. Okie doke. So, and do we know how old these little ones are? This is, they're literally two days old. Two so days old. They were, yeah. So we've got three-year-old Willow watching. Where are you watching from, Willow? 
and we'll give you a, a little lamby wave. Can we give you a little paw? A little paw for little, there we go, little hoof wave for Willow. There we go, they're so happy. Nice and warm in here as well. It's, it, we're lucky the weather is quite mild. Uh, so they are getting on great. So what we do is we bring them indoors for a couple of days. We don't try and bring them in for too long because um, they actually get quite depressed inside. A bit like we're going to be, if I'm honest. If you put them in isolation for too long, um, they they just, they don't, they're they just not very happy. So we bring them down here for a couple of days just to make sure the little ones are feeding properly, that they're growing properly, they're putting on weight, that mum is comfortable in what she's doing because some of them, you know, just like us as new mums, uh, we don't always know what we're doing with number one, but in personal experience, when you get onto number two or three, it gets a lot easier. Um, I'll just shout out to Somerset Bridge Primary School. And um, I hope you guys have got lots of activities planned for this. I'm going to call it exciting. I'm trying to be very optimistic. We'll call it exciting times, okay? Um, and don't think I'm, I'm, you know, not realising the seriousness of what is going on in the world because obviously we're feeling it right here. We've got a lot of, over 150 mouths to feed here. So we feel it right here. Um, but I'm trying to be optimistic because I think we've got enough news stations and social media and groups and everything in the world that's sharing all the negatives. So we're going to be here hopefully for the positive. So hello to Willow. She's watching from Bracknell and she's waving at us. That is lovely. So that's what we really want. We just want you guys to get involved. This is a bit of fun because to be honest, we're going to go out of our minds as well. We are very lucky that we've got all this space to run around in, but also we've got the stress and the the responsibility to look after little lots of lots of animals so we thought rather than doing it on our own why not do it along with you and go through the process with you right so Brayden do you want to say anything at the minute I know you're kind of you've not been around recently but you're here today do you want to talk to me about what your favorite animals are or um, lambing uh we've got one escaping who's left uh, the gate open <laughs> I knew this would happen um, can you get them back in <laughs> <laughs> oh, we knew this would happen pretty soon. So we've had an escapee already, and that was me leaving the gate open when I came in. So that went well. We've got three animal carers on site at the moment, plus myself. And uh, have a look out for this guy's little YouTuber, Braden TMG. So he's um, he's our celebrity of the evening because we're not, <laughs> we don't like to be on screen. We like to be covered in mud and. Um, filming these guys but we're not really in the limelight ourselves so another couple of the animal carers are up the farm at the moment they're going to come down and they're going to give us a little bit more information on names what day they were born some of the information on whether it's the first set of lambs so i think is from what morgan said this one hasn't got a name yet yeah no this one hasn't got a name and um, what's yet. it what's a boy or girl was it he's a boy a boy yeah, okay a boy. guys so we are looking for a name for this little boy i'm going to climb back over in a second um I'm quite known for falling over, um, so that's definitely going to be included a lot. Yesterday, I fell over. Uh, hello to Sienna Rose. Uh, where are you watching from, Sienna? And do you have any ideas for naming this little boy as well? would be fantastic. Thank you, Carly. Um, yeah, we're trying to be optimistic. It's the only way to get through because... Wow, I think the animals will be able to sense it. That's the thing. It's a bit like, you know, if you're a parent, you know that if you're having a tough day, your children seem to pick up on it. We're pretty much in the same idea that the animals are going to feel and know something's wrong uh, if we're all stressed and grumpy. So we are just staying bright and breezy and on top of the things. Um, Morgan, do you want to see if any of the other guys are about to have a little chat to us about this guy, what day he was born, yeah, sure. what mum's name is, and Jade you know, and yeah, yeah. So I think we've got Jade and Katie coming down in a second. Um, but please give us any ideas. This is new to us. Um, I know there's lots of places around the country that do videos all the time that are kind of quite confident at this. As you left the gate open again, oh, this is great. Look, that gate is. Oh, this is. <laughs> so we want to. Um, just go follow your lead, really, your advice. On, and what do you want to see? You know, are you bored? Do you want to run around? Do you want us to literally run around in a field for you? Do you want to get really in on lambing? Uh, or you just want to see kind of cute stuff? Um, hello. So Sophie wants to name the little lamb Jackson after her little brother. That's cute. What do you think of that one? I think that's quite a good name. That's quite a good like name. Jackson. like Jackson. And Sophie's daddy thinks Sean the sheep. Oh, we like, we've had Sean the sheep we've here. We've had Sean before. He was actually my favourite sheep in the entire Yeah, farm. well, we've actually had the real, like, the, the character Sean the sheep came here a few oh, years ago as well. Yeah. So you were probably very, very small. So let's get over here. 
Um, so this is, so we're, we're a working farm and we're a family farm. So you're going to meet a lot of the family members as well. So you've got staff members and there's a few children that run loose <laughs> here as well. So you'll start to meet, the, yeah, a wild, wild child. So this guy seems to be really confused because he's sniffing around the butt rather than going for the teat. Um, I think you're in the wrong position there. I think I need to get some uh, lighting set up. I need some professional, oh, here we go. We need some professional equ equipment for this. So you can't really see, but little, possibly Jackson. Um, oh, look, 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 he's going straight in there. But he's going for the wrong, oh, the wrong thing. So maybe we'll help a bit. We'll pop him round. Hello, Morgan, one second. We're just gonna help Jackson. Possibly Jackson, we'll have to, might have to put it out to a vote. I don't want to upset. I need to double check the other staff members that he wasn't named earlier on because they'll they don't eat you can't drink out of there sweetheart oh my goodness me don't get crushed right we've got situation here so do you know exactly when jackson or little lamb boy was born no, oh he's gone he's gone katie, goes, katie come on jump in you don't have to be on screen you can sit next to me and just talk if you want to the lamb that ran away should be called Hilts after Steve McQueen in The Great Escape. I like that. So we left the gate open a minute ago when Morgan went up to find you. Yeah, they all ran away, Morgan. Right. Katie, do you want to be on screen or off screen? Off screen. Right, okay, that's fine. Do you want to give us a bit? You can hold it and do the filming yourself. Mm -hmm. And then they can hear... No, not of yourself. You hold the... That's it. And then if you just talk, it can pick up your voice. But also don't film me because I'm not... I'm not, <laughs> okay. not so really little one was born five days ago. He's just staying down because he's a bit weak on the legs at the moment. And there's mummy. She, these, this was, she was our third one to be born. Third set of lambs. And they've been going out in the other field daily with the goats to get some bonding. And then tomorrow they're go these two are going back up. And is he suckling quite well? He's sucking really well. Because he was sniffing around her back uh, just now. I think he was a bit lost, trying to find where she, she was. This one, this you here was one of our lambs from last year. Oh, wow. So oh, this I is see. our first time mum. So obviously that's why she's down here a bit longer. Oh, I see. So obviously you look how little this little lamb is in one year. How big. Yeah, I know. It's grow. mad. And it's so nice that we keep them here so they can be here again. And we have all the little lambs. So you've got generations of the same family together. Have we got any questions on screen at the second? Um, the la Oh no, we've seen that one. Okie doke. Well, if you tell us anything else you'd like to see or know about, um, please just jump on and shout a question out. We're happy to answer, I think, hopefully. Um, can you tell us anything else about... Oh, who should we go into? Should we go into the pigs? Do you want me to carry it over and yeah. then you jump in? And then we'll go... Right, we're going to go over to... Which piggies do you want to go to first? Right, this is Okay, we're going to go down. So a lot of these animals are normally outdoors, um, but we've had a lot of bad weather, um, really bad storm weather. We've been a bit flooded. So what we've done is we've brought a lot of them inside for extra warmth. Um, obviously, you don't want to get them rolling around in the mud too much. As much as they enjoy it, it's not always healthy for everything. So these guys have been in doors over the winter, and they were looking forward to going out. And just like us, they're stuck indoors. Uh, so I'm going to try and climb in. And then Katie's gonna give me some names and ages, maybe. Oh look! Oh my goodness me! I can't. I don't want to fall on top. Whoa! Three, two, one. Pop. Okay, right. Do we know who this one is? Who's who? This is who we've got. Pixie. Yeah. Hello, Pixie. Babe. Babe. Obviously. Piglet and Chop over there. Chop's our male over there. Definitely not called Chop. That one's called <laughs> Chop. That one. This one's called Chop. That is humour. Obviously, these guys stay with us. Um, you've got to have a bit of a giggle with it. Are you eating my shoe? My sh I'm filthy because I fell in yesterday. Oh, dear. Oh, I've lost. I've rotated my phone the wrong way. And these guys have got nose in, so it stops them preventing from breaking the ground on top of the farm. Okie doke. So, yeah, we had a bit of an issue of them trying to break down where they were, but obviously, if they escaped, they could get in danger. And they were very small before, so they could have got eaten. Hello. Oh, hello. Ooh. These guys Ooh. are six months old. Six months and old. And we got them when they were 11. And they didn't have any hair before, did they? This is all no, quite new. This is quite new. Right. 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 Yeah, we're having a little nibble over here. Hello. Oh, you've got, is a bit of poo stuck to your nose? Yeah, That's... well, they've obviously been <laughs> Lovely. They do like to just get in. Down dirty. Oh, hello. 
So what do you think of the current crisis? Yeah? Oops, yeah, okay. Don't eat my phone. There isn't any shops open to buy a new one. Oh, you're dribbling on me now. Look, I'm, I'm under attack here. Okey doke. Revenge of the pigs. Yeah, they have had enough. So here we go. Look, 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 look. Very inquisitive. Very happy. So please tell your friends about our little group that we've got going because I think we all need as much excitement, positivity, and fun at the moment. So if you can tell your friends, add them to the event. I think you can go on your friends list and invite a load of people. So you invite them in and we're just trying to it was awkward, it wouldn't let Facebook Facebook wouldn't let us choose like a date over a couple of weeks. So we just picked a random date so we can keep doing this for as long as possible. Um so we are gonna try and do this every day. So stay tuned. Oh, oh, I'm really under attack now. Stay tuned. Log on. But please invite as many people as you can. Oh, we've got so we've got a bit of poo stuck on your nose, and you're trying to eat me. Let's try and get that off. Oh, let's try and get that off. Hello. But please tell your friends. What is the pig's favourite food? I think it's me, um, and possibly poo. Let's try and get that poop off. Go on then, Katie. What do they like to eat? They like their veg, like their, lots of veg. A bit of bread when we've got spare bread left over. Yeah. And we bring in. They had cornflakes today as well. And cornflakes. They like the cornflakes, didn't they? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got another one. Oh, I'm honestly, I'm getting. I'm quite happy that there's a few members of staff with me now because I'm honestly under attack. I'm down. I'm down. Wait there. I'm back. There we go. They are actually coming. Will they hurt me? Or no, I'm... they won't. Okay. They'll probably try and like. Snuggle up to you. I'm, I'm used to that. That's fine. I've probably been snuggled up with worse. Okay, they're getting a bit closer. Um, so that's one of the big questions at the minute. One thing that we've brought up on our page. Obviously, we are used to being very, very busy. It's spring, lots of people coming. So we have popped a little um, GoFundMe on there because we have got a lot of animals, 150 animals here, and we've got to feed them for many weeks to come without our normal lovely customers joining us. And um, so if you have got time or even, do you know, even if you can't spend anything yourself, we don't mind, just share it. Just because for every person that shares it, there'll be, for every 10 people that share it, there'll be someone on your friends list that's like, actually, I'll send something over. I'll send a pound over. Right, so we've got, what is the nose ring for? So we did that a minute ago, didn't we, Katie? So it's, but it stops stop them. them from digging the mud so they can still eat. Oh, 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 it just stops them from digging in further into the ground and wrecking the ground at the top of the farm. So it kind of pushes against them. I don't know if you know that I learnt this not too long ago. Pigs like to bur burrow and dig underground, really. But if you've got them in a nice, safe environment with a nice fence around them and they burrow underneath or they burrow that fence down, they're no longer safe and protected. And as much as we are quite good here, we do sometimes get predators that pop on and try and see our guys as a ready meal drive through so to protect them but once they're used to it then the rings can come out so this was the vet did this and um, we don't do things like that ourselves once that's they've got used to it and they kind of know their limits and what they should and shouldn't do they can come out um because they're at the minute they're teenagers really um i think we'd all like to put some restraints on some of the teenagers we know so <laughs> excuse me <laughs> um okay and what but oh wait she's gone again katie have you left us I should know. She's, they've run away because they think I'm going to film them. Right, so that was for Eliza. Hello, Eliza, who is four. Um, in a second, for Sienna, we're going to get some answers about all these piggies. Um, these guys are relatively new to us. I think they came in last year. And they were very little and they are very shiny. And now they're very hairy. We've got a nice back. They seem to have left me alone now. Um, do you have anything you want to say at the minute? Are you caring from what I'm saying? I'll join in. Oh, 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 oh what? <laughs> I need, I need phone insurance. Right, let's get right in there. Hello. So let me know if you want to go back to the lambs or if you're happy with the pigs. Um, I might get eaten alive, which will be interesting. And if you've been here on a day out, please pop any pictures and videos you've got onto our page because we kind of need to remember the good times um, and kind of <laughs> keep ourselves positive. Um, Whereas that one says up. Oh, yeah, why is that there? Don't know. Hello. Oh, wait, well, no, it lifts it back up there when I scrubbed him. When I scrubbed behind his ear, his ear flapped up. So I think we're going to have to work with our animal team on a bit of confidence because they've all run away because, in honesty, we're not used to being 
we don't really do all this so much. We don't go on screen ourselves, and we try and do some nice little clips of the animals, but we're not... Um, Oh, look, they're going right under there. This, you can see what they do now, burrowing under. So this is what they do outdoors. If they burrow under the soil... Uh, oh, oh, my goodness me, and knock me over. If they burrow under the soil, um, that's going to kind of create a big hole, a tunnel under their fence. Should we see if it pops... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, use that way. Let's, oh, oh, my goodness me. Right, let's see what's going on here. They're coming out. They're pushing. Right, I'm just going to keep still. I'm trying to help them. They're trying to... There's two of them now. Teaming <laughs> I'm getting up to teaming up I'm to knock down. You over. I'm down. <laughs> right. So, somewhere under here. Whoops. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> no, I'm, You're being I'm buried. Done. I've been attacked. This is definitely what we're looking for. Hello from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh my goodness, we've got Americans on here as well. Oh no, I'm being eaten. Oh my God, this one has now eaten my coat. Oh, wait there. Where are we? Okay, so this is a full attack on the humans. Can you see this? I've got one chewing on the coat here. I've got another one right there. Oh my goodness me. I've got two by my legs. I'm now actually lying on my back, <laughs> being knocked over. I'm glad that I've got, thank you for being my security because I'd actually, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, there we go. Right. Maybe we don't want to hear me so much, we want to hear these guys. So, what are you eating? I think this is eating the hay. A lot of hay. There we go, hello. Right, okay. Try and tunnel, try and yep. leave. So, they've come right through. So I am completely surrounded. So I've got three on this side, and this one here is chewing on me. Like, really chewing on me. Over this, yeah, I can see you. A good old shoe on that side. So I am properly under attack. Uh, can pick it. I'm actually waiting for the animal team to come back with some more answers because I'm more a jack of all trades. I tend to be everywhere. So I've got some animal knowledge and I'm a bit hands on. But the main guys with all the answers have gone off to do. They might be, because I did say we might be lambing tonight. I think they might have gone up just to check some lambs up the top. Um, so obviously it's quite late. And people probably don't realise that we are here quite late quite often because animal care isn't your nine to five. Um, so there'll be quite often be things happening late at night, early in the morning. Sometimes we have to come in and feed things during the night. So some of the lambs or baby alpacas um, might need a bit of extra care. Um, some of you might have caught our live videos last year. I was coming in um, and feeding baby alpacas in the night and when the lambs are getting eaten now oh look 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 we have another one under attack over here Hello. there we go hello so, so they are very friendly and they are very nice and they're not quite as shiny as you'd think look, they're very very furry you don't always think that of pigs there's a nice level of hair on there and they're probably tucked in why do you put rings in their noses? Hi, Evie. Um, so the rings are in the noses because they're quite new, quite young. They only kind of came here last year as ba oh, I'm getting eaten as babies, and we set them up where they are actually normally outdoors. They set them up in a paddock with a wooden fence around. But what they were doing, they were digging underneath and escaping. And when they're small, especially they're a bit bigger now, so they can hopefully come out soon. When they're very small um, and they're escaping, there's lots of other animals here, but also could get the attention of wild predators to start hanging around and they could get eaten so the noses are just to push against them when they're trying to dig underneath fences and then get them used to not doing that um, because they can't put that pressure on and then once they stop doing it they can come out and then they can stay safe in their paddocks so it's just to kind of stop them i know it's their natural um thing to do but for their own safety because we are a farm and we're connected to lots of other farms once you get someone gets a sniff you get a, a set of foxes or you get some other kind of we've had stoats um oh what was the other thing we had something else vol yeah there's a, what's the it's like a ferrety another animal <laughs> i'll remember it later on and we had one here before that was trying to snipe animals so we get um not a weasel i'll remember it later on it's a bit like a ferret but a wild one and they were attacking animals and when you get what it, it, when, when something comes and it sees it's an easy target 
it will keep coming. So um, what we need to do is keep all the animals locked up, really, and make sure nothing tries to have them. So can pig sit from Jack, age six? I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna go find. Do you wanna go find some of the animal team for me? I know yeah. they've gone shy. Um, they're gonna come out in a second, and they'll bring someone over. They might be lambing, so I might have to run. There's 23 acres here, so I might have to have a good long run to the other end of the farm to mink. Yes, thank you. It was a mink. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> Brain freeze. Yes, I believe it was a mink that we had a few years ago. Um, that had obviously just discovered us on its travels across the countryside and was trying to um, get some of our animals. No, I think it was a mink. I, know, I, I think I was thinking polecat, but I'm sure it was actually a mink. And um, it's things like that you've got to look out for because once they're here, they don't leave and you've got to do a lot to, you know, we want to be nice to all animals. So you've got a, a lot to deter them. And if you've got too many animals on the loose, um, they get the sniff of it and they won't leave you alone. Yes, I believe it was a mink, and I believe this was about four years ago. Um, but these guys, if you look now, they've been in all winter, they've put a lot of weight on. I think, to be honest, they can look after themselves because there's a nice bit of weight to them. So if they did dig, dig themselves out, I don't think any animal is gonna try anything on. But at the same time, they're big. If you came here on a day out, you probably wouldn't wanna see one of these guys charging towards you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> exactly, look, they've got another little side to them. You wouldn't want to see one of these guys charging towards you. So you also want to make sure they're safe for everyone's safety. We did used to have a free roaming deer many years ago and she'd kind of sniff in people's push chairs. Right, I'm going to go on a little bit of a roam. Um, if I haven't answered your question, I'll put it on as a text, like a text reply as soon as I've got answers. If you've got any more questions before we cut off, please say so now before I fall over. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first video of the second. Also, maybe less talking and more animal noises, which I can understand. Um, I'm completely... Everyone's deserted me now. I think this is Coco, who is... Oh, that's OK, Justine. Um, is expecting, so she's in foal, and that's going to be any day now. So she's indoors to protect her. Keep her warm, we can keep an eye on her all the time. So if we just pop in in the night, so a lot of us do pop in in the middle of the night just to check on things. And we've got another one over here. So that's why these guys are indoors. This is a very important time of year for us because it's spring. Everything is expecting, lots of babies on the way. It's very exciting. So hopefully we're going to try and catch a few live births. Um, what we'll try and do is we'll try and put warnings on if it is a live birth you know, I think it might be a bit gory, um, so that people don't get put off their dinner. I hope you've hoarded something nice in for dinner and not just Pringles like myself. Some healthy food, maybe some vegetables. Right. So look, they're in the corner and they're very, look, they're cosy over there. Is that Zach and Cody and Mum Keely? And then here we've got Mum and Baby. Thank you guys. Lovely to see happy animals being looked after so well. Thank you, Kat. Um, everyone's really trying to do their best here. Obviously, it has been stressful, but everyone, the team has just been fantastic. Um, and that's a big message from Animal Farm to their team. They have just been amazing. Still here, I don't know if it's nearly, do you know what time it is? Nearly eight o'clock. Yeah. There's three members of staff of the animal team still here, running around, making sure everything's being looked after. Um, we might be having a little drop-in tonight in the middle of the night to check on things as well. Did you find anyone? No. Are they, I think they've ran away. I think they've gone shy. Um, what I might do then is, because I don't know what they're doing, is wrap this one up for today. Um, like I said, this is a non-practice, non-scripted... Oh, got a little hop there. Wait, there we had a little hobby skip. Um, little practice video to see what you guys want to see, what you want to hear, and... When we listen back, how loud and annoying my voice is, or if I've managed to keep the right dulcet tones of a calm, lambing environment. Um, please give us any feedback you want to. If it's negative, maybe send it as an in inbox so I don't get publicly shamed. Um, and we hope to keep bringing you guys some fun outdoor activities, animal things, some educational. So we've got some amazingly educated and experienced animal care team that will be get a little bit of confidence in them and they'll be doing some videos themselves with a lot more information than I've got um, but I had to sacrifice myself to be the first on stage so that everyone else can join in um, but please do pop messages on share the group get as many people involved as you know because 
we're all in this together. Um, we've got an amazing country that we're lucky to be a part of, an amazing countryside, and Somerset is a real farming community. This is just hopefully something to keep us sane because we're, we're so used to talking to you guys 24-7. Like when you're here, it's so busy and we meet so many of you every day. And to have no one here is, is going to be hard for us too. And it's going to be hard for the animals because they do love that social interaction. So maybe this is a way for keeping everyone sane and happy and keeping the spirits up. Um, mister, would you like to say anything before we go? Um, Got a nice little logo on here. Yeah. Oh, here. Farm. Can you say hi to Anya and Ellie in Weston? Go on then. We've got Braden TMG. Go on then. Hello to Anya and Ellie in Weston. Um, how are you doing? I um, hope you like the animals and the lambs and that. Weston's not too far from here. Been there myself. It's a good place. Quite like it. Um, so yeah, well done. You live in a good place. Uh, so yeah. When you go to Weston, do you go to Weston or do you go straight to a bookshop and hide in the bookshop while everyone else enjoys the seafront? That was once, and I did get some good books. Okay, so, yeah, more, more education here. Okay, thank you so much. Please keep the videos coming. Real Life Unscripted is the best. Sophie really enjoyed this. Great. Oh, it's not showing me the rest of the message. Where's it gone? Great effort, Animal Farm. You've been great, and a credit to Animal Farm. Thank you so much, Carly. Honestly, that means so much, because uh, this is pretty nerve-wracking to, to do this. Um, especially because I know I've got quite a loud, screechy voice. I'm trying to be pretty calm in tones. But if without my assistant, if I didn't have Braden here to help me, I think it would have been a lot harder. And um, the animal team, I think once they've kind of got used to the idea, a few of them are really confident to do it. I know Meg's going to do some bits, and Meg's relatively new to us, but she's got a hell of a lot of experience, especially at zoos as well. So she's going to be doing some videos. And I think once uh, we get going and once we kind of get a cabin fever, we'll just be desperate to talk to someone. So we'll all be joining in. Uh, we might get into some of our other team members. I know Jenny loves the animals. We shout out to Jenny. We love Jenny. She's been here since the dawn of time. Uh, you might have seen her whipping around, cleaning and uh, organising the staff here. So we'll, I'm sure we'll get Jenny on a little video and we'll go around all the different team members and just keep this community and family spirit going. Uh, so last, I said it about, about 10 minutes ago, but I'm gonna say it again. We're gonna say goodnight to Keely, Zach and Cody over the back there. Oh, I didn't catch mummy's name, but we think we got a Jackson down here. I'm just gonna double check they hadn't already named him, otherwise I'll get in trouble, because I've done that before. Um, but really, really, really appreciate all those hearts popping up, it makes us feel amazing. And stay safe, everyone, be kind to each other, and let's look forward to the best we can bring from this. Okay, much love from all of us at Animal Farm Adventure Park. Good night.